Welcome to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Korok. Once again, I am live on a night I prefer not to be live. This is a rare circumstance for me these days, which is good because, you know, I like I like when I don't stream every night. But it's it's Zelda. And I've been thinking about this dungeon since last night. And I was like, man, I can't wait to do the dungeon. Rare with Zelda. No, I mean, it's rare, except Zelda makes it not rare for me to be live all the time, because I really love this game. You're addicted, aren't you? Yeah. I have no problem admitting that. It's just so good. It's just so good. All right, here, let's, um... Last night, all the Gerudo stuff was a lot of fun. And, uh... Riju is here to help shoot lightning, and we... Basically, we had this massive obelisk. Oh, shit. So this, this giant obelisk, uh, not obelisk, um... Ziggurat. Hath appeared. Vinny, please, I haven't caught up in the last 15 hours of Zelda gameplay. Yeah, you could probably watch out of order. Just make sure you watch the temples in order. Colostomy Bagel agrees. Colostomy Bagel is the only chat member who isn't simply chat member, and he l probably loves every second of it. I wasn't here for last stream how to chat behave in Gerudo. Mothman? Oh, it's a massive Gibdo thing. Um, not they didn't not behave. They beha they they didn't behave. I was not expecting a boss fight. It must be responsible for all this. Come on. Let's take it down together. This has to be their leader. Here we go. Oh! I need to drink cold drink. Which one is it, chat? Cold resistance. I need heat resistance. Like a good amount of heat resistance. I'm basically fighting a giant monster wearing pajamas. This thing is so unsettling. I don't like its mouth. Hmm. That was just an intro, huh? Flat up toward the roof. Maybe there's some way to go up after it. Inside the structure. Come on, Link. 
Let's look for a way in. Man, lightning just tears these things apart. Uh, uh, by the way, I hope everyone's doing okay today. Thanks for joining. I know this isn't my usual stream day, but that's why I say I don't have a stream schedule, so I can, you know, do stuff like this once in a while. Maybe you're shocking them to life, and then they die. <laughs> they live, they die, they die again. Aside from the addiction, how are you doing, Vin? I had a lot of meat tonight. No, I'm not in the meat coma, because... Weirdly, if you just eat a ton of meat... It does, the meat sweats don't happen as much, but it was a Korean barbecue. Um, some of you know Gilly, and uh, we, we once in a while like to do a Korean barbecue and catch up. He, he just loves K-Barbecue. The suit guy? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, sure. But no, I mean, fucking just... I'm full, but I don't feel gross. Full of meat, maybe. You can unequip pajamas, it's not hot anymore. Oh, yeah. Um... This is a big ass shield. Oh, hang on a second. What did the, what did you say about Metal Gear Solid? I don't know very much about it. So I don't have a whole lot to say. But it looks the graphics look nice in those screenshots. But, like I said, while it is nice to have something Metal Gear related, and Metal Gear Solid 3 is maybe one of the best ones, if not the best one, I said it before, Konami has done some really scummy shit. So I don't, I don't really have much to say other than that. Like, hopefully it's good. And I know David Hayter's involved, and he, he you know, he should be. So that's good. But yeah, I'll definitely need more. Next trailer, I'll probably do like a video on it and actually discuss it in some detail. This looks like an Indiana Jones moment. I love the vibe here. And when I say Indiana Jones, I don't mean Dial of Destiny. I mean like classic Indiana Jones. Not... Um, old man is, is haggard and weak. Like you? <laughs> Fuck you. Like Crystal Skull? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see what happens, but that movie, I have not a whole lot of faith in it. 
luckily, the Indiana Jones trilogy was great. And that's all the movies we'll ever have of that series. Just three movies. Three really good movies. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Do you think, um, the new movie will make Crystal- people defend Crystal Skull as good? Yeah, I do. Get ready for a ton of video essays. Crystal Skull actually wasn't that bad. These flames make it impossible to go further. It's fine. Crystal Skull is not terrible. I have said it before, I think it's- it's got a couple good things in it. There's a couple decent moments. It's not, like, god-awful. It's just not great, and it's not as good as the previous indie movies. If you disagree and you think it's, like, horrendous, that's fine. It was a movie. Hey, the flames have gone out. Now we can move ahead. Someone in chat just said, Russian woman attractive. <laughs> That's, well, that makes the movie instantly amazing. That was Kate Blanchett. That's Galadriel. You know, the real Galadriel. Now. Looks like we're stuck again. She's not just Russian woman. She's only one of the fi finest elves in all of Middle Earth. Fimest. She's also, um... She plays Monster Hunter in that movie Tar. I'm on my way, Link. I guess. Can I talk? I, I need to turn the bird off. At least for now. <laughs> this feels like a classic Zelda dungeon in a lot of ways. Again, it feels a lot like Indiana Jones, too, which is why I like it, but... Like arbiter's ground a little bit. I wonder if this works. No, it does not. Tulin is the most useful and annoying. That we can agree on, chat member. Here we go. But what I won't... Ooh, but what I won't agree on... is slander. <laughs> What's slander? Slander against the auto zone.
These electric weapons are really, really, really brittle. Wow, it, is it just me or does she fucking kick ass? Damn. Someone just wrote Girl Boss. <laughs> it's not a Disney movie. But she's fucking awesome. The level of, like, usefulness of the lightning. You can just have a tactical nuke, and then she attacks the enemies with her swords. She's a queen. Well, she can slay. I'm sorry, chat. I'll never say it again. A part of me... A part of me... Like, you know what happens, chat? I disintegrate when I say something like that. Like a little, <laughs> a little piece of me just leaves my soul. There's still a soul left in there? Not really, no. <laughs> Mighty Construct Bows, those are good. Let's try spinning, that's a good trick. Eh, all my other bows are better. I've realized something, chat. You know how in classic Zelda games, you get an item in a dungeon, and you use that item to solve puzzles? In this game, your item is the person you get. Shit. So you get them, like... After you do the, the first part of the dungeon, which is not the dungeon, but getting to the dungeon. Kind of like Majora's Mask. And then when you go into the dungeon, you just have the item. So it's, it's weirdly kind of classic Zelda, but also kind of not. Though I can still totally understand when people would want that classic Zelda formula. And not this. Like, I wouldn't fault you for a second if this doesn't do it for you. So far, you have a leaf blower and a fly swatting nuke. That's one way to put it. Wait, what is this weapon? Chat, I found the most powerful weapon in Hyrule. Never fucking mind. Seems like a very effective weapon. Shock like stone. Um, just sticks the tail at the end of the sword. Okay, that's weird. First rule about pot club is we don't talk about pot club, it's legal now. You can talk about Pot Club if you want. Uh, it's not legal everywhere, never mind. I forgot about that.
Whoa! Get the treasure chest first. Fuck, fuck the life. Fuck the life. Oh, that, I don't need that. I don't know if that was supposed to go down there. Themed dungeon music chat. It's almost like it adds a whole lot to the game when it's here, and when it's not here, it's not as good. No vey. had themed music but it was more subtle. Oh, I didn't even remember that. Link, I'm certain that the mural we saw in town was trying to guide us here. I believe we'll also find whoever that voice we've been hearing belongs to. And again, I'm not trying to say like now I now I hate Breath of the Wild. Like it was a great experience that I only played one time and I loved most of it. It wasn't perfect. <laughs> This isn't perfect. This does things even better than Breath of the Wild in, in a lot of ways. As I've said before, there are things that this game does that I like that feel, like, obvious now in retrospect. But at the time, Breath of the Wild was fantastic. The Zelda cycle of, you know, like, game is amazing, game is shit, game is amazing, game is shit. That only really happened to me with Skyward Sword. Like, I loved Twilight Princess then, I still love it. Wind Waker, I loved then, I still love it. Oh, this goes all the way up, huh? Uh, Skyward was a game that, on release, I was like, this is great! And then, just my memories of it ended up being soured. Playing the remake, though, I, I still enjoyed it, but I, I... I've said it before, I feel like it could, you could chop like 8 to 10 hours off that game and you wouldn't lose very much. <laughs> Who hates Wind Worker? I've never heard complaints. Um... I would almost guarantee people dislike some of the aspects of Wind Waker, like the, um, this, the emptiness of the Great Sea. But when it released, that's now, you know, I'm sure there's complaints here and there, but I mean, like, when it released, it sold the poorest, and it almost actually ruined, like, Nintendo's outlook on Zelda was about to change because of that game. And, um, the hype for that game was minimal, because everyone called it Zelda. And because it was just, like, not what people wanted, we wanted a realistic Zelda. I say we because I was one of them, but I immediately just said, you know what, I'm sure it's gonna be great. And then I played it and I loved it. But, of course, for a little while there, I was like, oh, what about the Space World demo? So I had my own hang-ups about Wind Waker. But now... I, I view it and remember it extremely fondly. And it's still, I think, the, visually the game that held up the best. Just because it's, like, kind of timeless. And as much as I love Twilight Princess, it doesn't look nearly as timeless as uh, Wind Waker. But yeah, the game also wasn't fully finished. Like, they cut some dungeons, there was, like... I think there was a rush to release it. GameCube wasn't doing so great. So there was a lot of stuff that happened with Wind Waker that was unfortunate. I think that could have been an even better game. 
Someone said TP is way overrated. See, that's another thing. There's a video I watched about how Twilight Princess saved Zelda. And how, like, I think it was Aonuma was talking about how he had no interest in making a realistic looking Zelda game. And they did it because they wanted to save the franchise. And it worked. But yeah, it's not... Twilight Princess has its problems too. And it's still... Stylistically, it's very kind of bland and very of its time. I think not bland, but just very, like, overly gritty. But I don't care, I love it. I think it has a lot of great dungeons. I love the combat. I love the... The story is actually pretty good. It's not, like, the best story ever, but it, there's a lot to like about that game. Too dark and muddy. I agree. Great music, though. That's the Zelda series in general. Flawed, but the good parts are so good, you ignore the flaws. I, I agree with that. As someone who plays Zelda 2 every year. Which, again, that's like an extreme example of there's something like wrong with me <laughs> because of how much I like that game. Someone said, I mean, that's anything that's good. Unless something is like totally flawless, which I don't think anyone would ever agree on universally something being flawless. There's always going to be someone that has issues with everything, even if it is amazing. I think Chrono Trigger is damn near a perfect video game. There's going to be people that are like, yeah, but RPG combat is boring. But anyway, no, Wind Waker is... Oh man, if Wind Waker was just fully, fully finished, that would have been... Oh god. Um, it would have been fucking legendary. As is, though, I still think it's a highlight of the series for me. And yeah, those enemies just blinded themselves and continue to blind themselves. <laughs> Come here. Oh fuck, the Gibdos don't like the Zonai. That's phenomenal. They just really <laughs> blind themselves. Holy shit. Good for them. The monster fled up to the top of the temple, so how do we get up there? the floor started to rise and then slammed back down. Daughter. Daughter of the Gerudo. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Use your power to charge the four batteries and it will function once more. Heed my words. Okay. Uh. I heard a voice- heard the voice very clearly just now. It's calling to me. It said I should use my power to charge the four batteries. Mm. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. The voice that has been speaking to us just said that the platform should be able to take us all the way to the top up there. If that's true, we could corner the monster at the top. 
we might figure out who is talking to us and why. Okay, Link, we need to get to the very top. To start, we should do what that mysterious voice suggested and try to find those four battery devices. Take that out here. <laughs> no! Ah, oh. No, I don't want this. I'll take this, though. It's an actual mirror shield, everybody. Quick. Oh, man. Yeah, tactical nuke online. Thanks, Construct. Fuck you, Construct. some balloons in here. Hey, kid, I got a balloon for you. Chat, I played that Slayer's X game. The, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw first-person shooter sequel thing. I played about an hour of it today, hour 15. It's really fucking funny. <laughs> Chat, I think you're gonna like it. So I did a pre-record, but I liked it so much, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to stream more of it when it comes out. It's got a lot of good Hypnospace references, so if you remember the Hypnospace uh, streams or if you played it yourself, I think you would like it. It's very, very silly. And the shooting is solid. I'm not going to say it's the best ever, but it's on par with a lot of the um, boomer shooter things that are coming out these days. So, solid. With some actually semi-funny and unique weapons. Yeah, it's a first-person shooter, um, designed to look like a build engine game. One of the weapons is a glass shooter, it's your shotgun, and in order to get ammo for it, you have to break windows and collect the glass shards. But in-game, they're called shards. And the reason they're called shards is because the developer of the game is Zane. And he doesn't know the difference between shard and shard. So there's a lot of, like, meta jokes, because the the game is about Zane, developed by Zane. And there's, like, a lot of misspellings and stuff. It's actually surprisingly funny. It made me laugh out loud many, many times, and I, I therefore will probably... Oh, I see what we have to do here. I will probably end up streaming more of it, because it's, it's good. Also, I got my Grotto Beast in today, chat. The rest of my Grotto Beasts are in. So, I'm thinking tomorrow will be Grotto Beast Night. Grotto Beast and some other card packs and um, other stuff as well. What in Tarnation is a Grotto Beast? It's, um, Jerma found them in the, in the desert.
These are some classic mirror shield puzzles with physics. So you were the one called Shaft. Lightning well enough. All right, three left. I find there to be some some serious irony about how the Zelda game is pulping my viewer numbers, and is one of the best games I've played in years. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop playing it. I did just fine on Sunday. I am I'm I'm doing I'm doing quite well in life. But man. It's probably because of spoilers. I think it's more than just spoilers. I think it's also just the overabundance of people playing it. It's also spoilers. And uh Yeah, it's probably both of those things. Twitch numbers. Yes, when I say numbers, I mean Twitch numbers. I don't mean the, the silly numbers on the back of your credit card, which you should definitely be dropping in chat right now. Don't do that. Note that was a joke. Note that was a joke. I gotta say that. Chat is posting all of their wacky numbers. Don't do that, chat. You should stop that right now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That's a bad idea. Damn ceilings are just high enough to be out of range. That's not true. Did I just like bypass a puzzle? Welcome to the boss arena? Oh, fuck. I mean, they had to know someone was gonna do this, right? purpose could this possibly serve just structurally like what what are what are these things doing don't say ventilation because they're going too slow That 
that was enough. Light beam puzzles, how I've missed you. This thing is going to be a problem. I mean, a little bit. Maybe for a second. Hey, the trap is disabled. We can get past now. Vinny, have you talked about Square Enix's bootleg Splatoon? Yeah, I, I did, and it just looks... I said it just looked visually too much. I mean, good, good for them. I didn't watch the whole showcase, like I said, so I'm, I'm gonna have to catch up on some stuff, but... It's just one of those things that I thought I'd be good with highlights. Considering I don't have a PS5. And, uh, I've had, you know, people say that it was not particularly exciting. I mean, Dragon's Dogma. Uh, Spider-Man. It's fine. Metal Gear, I talked about Metal Gear Triangle, yes. Does this chuckle fuck not even have a weapon? practice. I can imagine what needs to happen in here. These are very underrated pieces that I don't see a whole lot, but when I do, I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Vinny, why do you have a weed sword? I don't actually know. I went to Weed World in Manhattan. I went to the Weed World truck, and they were like, Uh, welcome to Weed World! Do you want to buy, a, like, a weed sword? Uh, sire? <laughs> I said, can I speak to your manager? Yes, one moment, please. It's me, the manager of Weed World. Uh, would you like to purchase a weed sword? <laughs> I 
Wow, you sound exactly like the employee. It's a requirement. I've come to hate Seth Rogen's voice almost exclusively because of Vinny's impressions. I feel like I owe him some kind of apology, but I kind of don't like the guy that much, so maybe... maybe not. I mean, I don't know him personally. Why not? Oh. I- oh. I should give him a call one day. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I figured I would mention it because it is a cool project, and there is a- a chance I'll be involved in some way. I don't know exactly what way, but also Greg has been really cool to me. But, uh, Greg Sestero has a movie he's kickstarting about aliens. And specifically, like, a coast-to-coast -coast AM type radio DJ. And, um... I know Kickstarter in 2023 is a very iffy prospect for a lot of people, and I cannot blame you if you wish to ignore entirely. But... I really want to see this alien movie of his. And, uh... If he raises a certain amount of money, he, he was like, and maybe more surprise cameos, and there's a picture of Neil Breen. And... I know it's kind of part of a joke, and Greg's very self-aware, but I would love an Alien movie written and directed by Greg Sestero from The Room with cameos from Tommy Wiseau and Neil Breen. I would very much enjoy that. Bob Odenkirk is potential, too. Yeah, well, Bob Odenkirk is playing Tommy in The Room. He did, like, a thing for charity. He's not doing like Tommy Wiseau, he's just doing it as Bob Odenkirk, you know, you know what I mean? But he read the script and improv with people and also, well not improv, but like did the script with people for charity event. And Greg played the drug dealer. I was thinking Vin was gonna cameo. I mean, there's a chance. I kind of want Nortz to cameo, and I'd fly out to fucking Roswell to be a cameo appearance in Greg's movie. That would be the opportunity of a lifetime. If offered, I'd be there in a second. I would put my bullshit aside of my traveling bullshit, and I would just go. But, yeah, again, Greg has been real chill to me, so... He's doing this thing, I hope his movie gets made. Chad, it may not be the best movie ever. But I kind of don't need it to be. Um... Vinny, are you not content with being a cameo in Pyro's new video? Oh, that happened already? Um, yeah, the Pyro, uh, from Team Fortress 2. Oh, yeah. What are you- who did you think were- yeah, that, that Pyro, correct.
Um, so I'm looking for more. There's that room, which I don't know how to get in just yet. Maybe... Looks like uh, 6F is how to get in there. This is 5F. So we gotta go up another floor. This is 7F. I, I might be approaching this wrong, chat. Oh, 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 oh! I see it. I see something. Use one of those balloons. Oh, or, or, I think what was meant to happen here is this. Why is there a slot machine in the corner of the screen? What? Oh, God, that's... That's the weather. Try that again. We talk about the weather. Hi, hi, hi. Should we talk about the government? Hi, hi, hi. No, let's not ever. It's just an REM song. Oh, I'm good. Keep hearing the Gordon Ramsay noise in the music. Oh, fuck! Do you, <laughs> are you talking about the noise that plays when something amiss, something foul happens in the kitchen? You fuckface! Get over here now! Only one more battery to go. Have you seen the video compilation of Gordon Ramsay pulping salmon? I don't know what you mean, but I love it. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but... I can't t express to you how much I want to see that.
Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this is the first one you're supposed to do. Wait, where's Riju? Vinny, I did the exact same thing. Apparently, there are several people that either did it first, and several people that just got it stuck on it. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. I got this. Don't worry, I've done this before. Uh. What is... Link, I think this platform is about to move. Something is shining over there. Here we go. Oh, God. That mouth again. You wake up and you see this thing like nibbling at your like chest. Let's go. We'll finish. What do you do? to do something heroic and then that happens. Might have might hurt. Man, I didn't have time to build a, a laser drone. Don't, won't. Nailed it. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't have a mirror. Uh, do you, do you happen to have a mirror?
Oh, that's a light. It's not. Oh no. Once again, I don't think this brilliant plan really worked out so great. It's actually kind of working. It's attached at an angle. The mirror is on crooked. Oh, that could explain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. I just love that you can do that. Like you can you can just do that if you want. And it, it's actually giving me some decent backup too. The chat, it's working great. It's working so well. I feel like a fucking genius. I know I'm not, but man, I feel like one. For the tornado. Too late. Oh, that was sick. That was a really good boss and using my using my mirror contraption just was the icing on the cake. Yeah, that, that was just awesome all around. Great dungeon, good mirror shield puzzles, good, um, good lead up to the dungeon too, like actually finding it. Lots of classic little Zelda elements in here, and then topping it all off with a boss battle in the beginning at the end. And the end. What? And at the end. Big fan. Yeah. <laughs> 
freed you, beloved daughter of the Gerudo. Uh, I know that voice. You are the one who's been talking all this time. Distant ancestor. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gerudo. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. Mm. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the imprisoning. That, oh man, that Twitter cord. Long, long ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, <laughs> a great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the Not as many people questioned that as I expected. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We Wait, do you really get the same cutscene four but times? Only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified oh. the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with They all have a minor stone. difference. Okay. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks, even the lightning strikes I called down. Strongest potions, too. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. Some really timey-wimey shit going on here, huh? The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power. The Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. Kill the kill the Ganondorf. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And now I have told you all I can of the imprisoning war and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town. But the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the Swordsman, Link. I'm gonna ram a shaft of rusty rebar up the Demon King's asshole. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. Hmm. 
My destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down this so-called demon king. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. Get the rebar. Sled shield has been leaking electricity for a long time. Oh, so that's the symbols on the uh, collector's edition pins. Whenever you need it. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? They're loosely based on the kanji for the elements they represent. Well, what kanji represents the element of surprise? Because... If only I had the Metal Gear Solid exclamation mark on my soundboard, that would have been perfect for that. Here's what I do have, though. Squeeze your hug. The weather's nice here again. Link, I'm grateful for helping me for you helping me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the sand shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to your help we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. Do they not have like themed weapons that you could get this time around? I'm sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Grutown no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zeld. Hmm. Actually, Boyara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zeld. Could that person have been Zeld? Was that Zet and distant past in the same era where my ancestor was alive? No, that's just not possible. After all, we saw someone who looked exactly like Z recently, too. 
she vanished without having, without saying a word, but that had to have been... Hmm. Hmm. We're going to have to keep investigating if we want to find any answers. Hmm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Hmm. And with my newfound power as Sage, I will still be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything I can to help. It's okay, that was annoying me anyway. It, it was it was time to let that shield go. I will do my best to learn more of what is happening with Zelda before we meet again. Make sure to come back and visit. Oh, and don't forget, even when I cannot be by your side, you can always call on my power as a sage. So chat, you're you're referring to now there there are in fact separate quests to find a weapon. To get the, the Gerudo weapon. Where might that be? The jewelry store? Impa's here. It's the last place I expected to find you, courageous one. Uh, Impa's looking for more geoglyphs. There's a forgotten temple. And you should fix those stairs. Uh, the jewelry store, where's that, chat? Oh, I, oh wait, 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 wait. map is next to the slot machine. Wow, I'm dumb. Thank you, chat member. You're right. Thank you for reminding me about that. It is right there next to the goddamn slot machine. The owner. It's a Vi named Isha. I only make accessories, but the owner's well-regarded artisan has even served... His armor to Lady Riju. Mm. If she were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. The Taruma Dunes. Right, right, right. That's the... Okay, I remember reading about that earlier. So the Taruma Dunes, where's that? Chat, that's where we must go. Somehow that's cooler than wearing nothing. Okay. Someone in chat just said, Is this chat as thirsty for Pura as the rest of Twitch? Yes, but also, did you notice, chat, that my reaction to Pura is like, really like, that, that fucking clip is blown the fuck up. And all it is, is just me saying one sentence. Barely. I barely even sound enthused.
and it just, yeah, it's got over 100,000 views for just that one moment. <laughs> I should be releasing more Pura content. If you have any ideas for a good Pura video, let me know, chat. Don't be gross, it's fine. I Just, just something like clickbaity and fun. In fact, just scratch that entirely. I don't want to do it anymore. You've convinced me against it. Well done, chat. Shh, not so loud. If you're too loud, the guards might find us. Plus, it makes it hard to hear the voices coming from below. Think about a secret. You can take her flying around with a glitch. Who? Pura? Oh, you can? That would be good Pura content. Any NPC? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. Shrimp Lady 2.0. Also, if I'm going to spend time in the desert, I should upgrade this shirt. Oh my god, it is scorching hot. Even with the lobster shirt, god damn. Oh, they don't stack. Are those bokoblins not, like, really hot? I mean, look at them. Chat, what I'm saying is I want to fuck up a Bokoblin. They got some plumpies, I don't know. This guy is busted. I heard him make this cock joke once before. No, he is busted. Beautiful. Oh, that, that's not good. This is what I get for being so focused on gathering materials and I don't even notice I've wandered into Muldugas territory. I'm safe up here on the high ground. High ground! But since sound will attract it, I can't get down. Oh, and of course I don't have anything to distract it with either. If I fall from here, well, Muldugo will eat anything. Go away, Muldugo. Someone just said, well, she's fucked. Time to go. Yeah. Shame I can't help.
Right, this is my Mulduga slaying device, chat. Chat, where did my device go? Holy shit! He ate it? No, he didn't ate it! Chat, there's no way he ate it. It's only the enemy's gimmick. But I spent so much time building that. I spent... Th two minutes building that. Jaws music was the inspiration behind this particular music here. I'm gonna buy some more parts. I'm running out of parts. It's not overly Jaws, but you know. Okay. Imagine if there was three lasers. Man, that would be even better. I need new weapons. I guess I could have had Riju help. The Malduga, it's gone. So is my my turret. Could have had bird help too. Oh yeah. You, did you get rid of the Malduga? I can't believe you were able to defeat it. You must be incredibly strong. I've never dreamed I'd run into a Vo like you way out here. Must be fate, don't you agree? Ah. I'm Isha. I run the jewelry shop at Gerudo Town. Since you saved me, you have to let me give you a fitting reward. This might come as a surprise, but I'm actually Gerudo's best blacksmith. Come to my shop, and there's something special I can craft for you. Wait, he's a Vo. He can't even get into town, huh? But if he can beat that monster, I bet... Mm -hmm. I can feel fate's pull between us. I'm sure we'll meet again.
Sunny boy! Re-enable bird. Okay. Fucking monster hunter now, this game. No, seriously. Now that is a vehicle. These weapons suck! Alright, chat, let's go. Oh boy. <laughs> That's so dumb. That was so dumb. I'm just patrolling the desert. Get back on your sick vehicle and roll out. <laughs> Oh shit. No, it's sick. It's good. It's good, Chad. It's good. The vehicle's good. Is the Muldugo gonna respawn? Ah. Uh... I need to add some weight to the front of it, chat. Hang on, hang on, I got this.
now it should be balanced. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Chat, it's working. Chat, it's fucking working! Uh-oh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh God. Oops. Chad, this vehicle has an added bonus that I bet you don't even know about. <laughs> boobs? No, not boobs. I'll show you. Oh, should I go enable bird? That that's the best most efficient vehicle in the game, chat. Confirmed. And when you die just before you crash it, you can taste watermelon. Nice feature. Exactly. Mark it as a favorite in auto build. It's peak performance. It may not look it, but it's peak performance. And the watermelons provide a perfect counterweight. The watermelons dum double as a crumple zone. I don't know what you mean, chat member, but I like the way you think. Chat, don't worry, I've done this before.
blew up that whole fucking thing. I like these shrines that start you at zero. Shit, shit, shit. Stop and die. weapon. Give a beam emitter to a sentry head save via auto build and you have six zoanite sentry you can deploy at any time. That's pretty cool. Have you seen Link's vagina bones, Binti? I have, yeah. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. That that works as a great sentence because I, if I don't elaborate, it's just the most bizarre thing someone could say. Unbearable heat. I wonder if my super effective and really cool vehicle is still available.
What are you doing, asshole? No, that's your friend! I don't want to get those those moblin pieces because those are good pieces but oh well and yeah sadly my vehicle did despawn you have it saved though i do have it saved Too hot. Going back to Gerudo Town. Oh yeah, I do have the headband. That's right. That, that's the American version of Kitchen Nightmares. No editing needed. The Salmon Pulp Compilation. Alright, let me see it. Link it again. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, this is just kitchen, um, Hell's Kitchen. I already know what this is gonna be because he just fucking like wrecks the food. It's when it's raw. As fuck on the bottom. Or overcooked. He just fucking pounds it, he pulverizes it. Watch. He's gonna obliterate it. Okay, shit. Thank you so much. And they don't want to overcook salmon either. But what they do deserve is crispy skin. <laughs> should cook. For the 27th time, skin side down. Come here, come here. So it doesn't get claimed oh, as easily. Look, it's not, it's oh. just, no, it's not about all. Oh, it's not about that. Bro, bro. Touch that. Yeah, it's cold. Touch it. Touch. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's salmon. <laughs> And Coop has delivered undercooked salmon. <laughs> oh my god. You talked about this show so much during your Breath of the Wild playthrough too. I was probably just watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay at that time, yeah. But like he's not even like that. But he is as famous as he is and as rich as he is because of that. Yes! Get fucked! He's doing kitchen- uh, I think he's doing kitchen nightmares again. There's an episode one you got the yes get fucked meme. Really? Oh my god! So that brings us perfectly back. I can't believe that was six years ago. The 
no idea you were in such a... Hmm? <laughs> this moist child man <laughs> is, is, uh, rescued you? I'm sorry, who the fuck is this? He's sweating like an animal. The owner tells me you rescued her from a Mulduga. Sucks so truly. Here's a little something to reward your bravery. So can't bro. Oh! Still can't believe you took on such a huge monster at one. Hylia and Vo are pretty impressive. Ma? It's because of you that I was able to make it back to town. Sarkso. I knew I'd see you again, of course, but I wasn't sure I would it would be here. Even more surprising, not only oh! do you mean something special to me for saving my life, you're also special to Lady Raju. You really are one of a kind Vo, aren't you? Ma? It's a brain worm now, yeah. I'd like to reward you, but my reward is a little involved, so do you mind coming to talk to me when you have some time? Ma? Everyone, including me, has been able to get back to our normal lives, and it's all because of you, Sarkso. You know, comedy comes in threes, chat. You know, we all owe you a great debt, and I think I can begin to repay it by crafting the arms of the Seven for you. They are a sword and shield passed down by the Gerudo. They can be wielded only by a chosen individual. I'm talking about the Scimitar of the Seven and the Daybreaker, of course. They're crafted using a special technique known only to me, and I have chosen to carry them. You to carry them. Will you let me make you the arms of the Seven? Ma? I just need you to gather some materials for me. Truth be told, I'd like you to gather the materials for you. I'd like to do that myself, but it's the duty of the bearer to do that. Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, a Gerudo shield. Even a decayed Gerudo scimitar will do the trick. I've got diamonds, I've got flint, I just need the scimitar and the sh I got the shield. It's pretty expensive, hopefully this is good shit. Link is so toxic. Hey. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Impa's here? Nah, she's no Wrinkly Kong. Not many are. I'll just take all that, thanks. Hey, Mr. Freeman, about that drink I owe you. Is that, well, is that where the sex class is, chat? Can I still do that? That's, it's not too late for that, right? Like time only? Okay. But chat, where um where's a scimitar? I used to think it was scimitar. Does anyone still think it's scimitar? Just checking. You never thought that, just me? Oh well fuck. Does anyone here drink sim milk? Sin milk. Hmm. It's not what I said. It's actually not what I said. S skin milk is also not what I said. 
Holy shit, chat. Shadows of Doubt reference? I haven't played that yet. I, I can't find a scimitar. I went to the armory and see anything. There's a Lizalfo in the northwest of the desert that has one. There's none in town. There were, you just used them. Well, that sucks, chat. Yes, I just spent 39 on this, and it actually conjured melons. Wow, I regret spending 39. Good link driving this. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? It really is. It even, like, does a little bounce. I think this counts as the Northwest. <laughs> Give your car a name. Sp Sproing. It's got melons on it, and it also has a spring, so spring. Even though I kind of like sin milk now, so... We just call it that, too. Yo, with the melons in the front, it actually is stable. Alright. I just ate my words. Never have I eaten my words faster than that. These aren't Lizalfos. Ramp off a dune? It's not fast enough for that.
Get it. Get it. Here, chat. That's where the um, Yiga clan, Yiga clan were. Add wheels. This is about to get a whole lot stupider. Can oh, cannons too. Throw some cannons on there, sure. You know what? No, I'm not. This is a beautiful creation, and I'm not going to ruin it with stupidity. Spent a lot of zoonite on this. <laughs> so it can bounce. Just like that. It would be so beautiful if you could just crawl around on the floor and bounce around like a spring. So beautiful. I like when someone knows their legacy and just plays with it. I, I know that's a weird sentence, but like... David Lynch knows he's David Lynch. Paul McCartney knows he's Paul McCartney. Nick Cage knows he's Nick Cage. And like, they play with their public perception a little bit. I'm not saying they aren't real-ass people outside of their public persona, but I think, what, you know, with people like that, when they're that famous and that known for their idiosyncrasies... And I say McCartney because apparently, in interviews with other people that know him or have met him, like, he's willing to be that guy for you, the Beatle Paul. Yeah, we were there, we were there, and then we were here, and we were everywhere. Like, he'll, he'll do shit like that. Clearly, you know what I mean, chat. But yeah, Lynch almost certainly knows he's a weird dude, which is why he filmed that video with the monkey. That one time. Vinny, you're one of the only biggest streamers that I can actually have a chat in, and it's not just people spamming memes. Well, we got that too, my chat member in... in Crucifixion. We got everything you need. Also, today's kind of slow. Whereas, on a Sunday stream, good luck having a conversation. But I agree, it's nice to, that we can discuss topics like David Lynch. I would say a good chunk of my audience it probably knows who David Lynch is, right? It seems like a fair assessment. Did my fucking vehicle despawn again, chat? Yeah, they don't they don't stay um There's not a ton of range. You can't get very far away. Well, that's a shame. All that zoonite is now gone. How much zoonite does it cost to conjure a melon? That's what I want to know.
Did anyone ever pronounce these motherfuckers as Bokoblins? Or Bokobolins? Or something like that? Because it took me a while to fully read the word and make sense of it in my mind as Bokoblin. And not just Bobokins or Boblims or Boblibobobobins. Or open Bobs, but be please! Definitely not that either. Bob Hoskins. They're not Bob Hoskins. Bitch lasagna. They're not that. Coco Bolas? No, that's that's too close to Coca-Cola. I'm gonna have to ask you on behalf of the Coca-Cola Corporation to please stop saying that. Thank you very much. That's copyright, 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 copyright. Anyway, what were we saying? Yeah, people can have conversations here without memes. Well, when I say cool words like Boba Coblums, you know the chat is just willing to have a really deep, cool conversation about that. Because I'm saying really interesting, insightful, intelligent things. But we do actually have quite a good chat here sometimes. I, I'm a big fan of this chat on many occasions as opposed to, you know, what it could be on other, like, big Twitch uh, channels. I've, I've seen them get pretty rough and it, we don't... I'm not like a big streamer, but we do sometimes get big numbers, and obviously the chat's going to be like very different when there's a lot of people. But when it's like, you know, three, four, five thousand people, yeah, you can actually kind of have a conversation and we could talk about interesting topics that aren't just like memes. I mean, sure, there's a chat fight now and every now and then, but also look at the greater state of the internet and the world. Like, we, no one likes anyone. We just all hate each other. We're all in our little, our little camps. And there's, you know, a lot of, lot of shitty people out there, and fair enough. But uh, I'd like to think I'm too boring for most memers. And I don't get too stunlocked. Once in a while I do. But I try not to give, uh... I just, I'm here to have a good time, man. And sometimes I'll, I'll engage in a topic that's upsetting, but... Uh... For the most part, I like to just talk about shit. Just a little of the fecal funny, a little fungal funny. Something deep once in a while. Or fake deep. I like fake deep. You, you know? Nothing too heady. I'm actually, like, kind of confused here.
That really? R really? That's what the game wanted me to do? Yeah, if you don't have the stamina, you have to do this a different way. Because I'm just, like, stamina cheesing this. Yeah, this is- this is okay. I mean, it doesn't have a spring and a turret. And melons, but it's okay, I guess. Gonzalo, I'm gonna need you to leave. Who's better than one? Three's better than two. Five's better than three. You could just do this if you want. And it works relatively well. Like, the steering stick, the control stick just makes it work. Todd wishes he could say that. Add wings? I wonder if you could.
Uh oh. Ah, fuck. I just wanted the ball. Oh, wait, no, I just realized what I could do. It's fine. Just as God intended. Now, where's the treasure chest? Oh. I see. I see it. I see. It, I see it. Ignore it. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't because I see it now. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't get it, but now I see it, so I have to get it. I can ignore that treasure chest. Vinny, the skimit the scimitar was in there. What do you mean? There could, it could be Jape. I don't know if it is a Jape anymore. Ah. Uh, make a bunch of rocket shields to cheese it. Ah. Uh, I don't know if chat's telling the truth or not, so... I'm just hoping to find that one very specific Lizalfos that chat was talking about earlier.
You mean the one with the massive foreskin? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yes, of course. I kind of feel like maybe there might be a, a scimitar up there. Maybe a cinematographer? Something, at least. Is this going to be a Korok up here? Makuni. I just saw people saying hello. Did you talk about Metal Gear Solid 3? I did. There's not much to talk about. To get the most out of a scimitar, get Skinamax. Did you see that HBO rebranded to Max? And, like, in order to in order to get it, you have to get a separate app entirely, and it, like, doesn't work. And they got rid of, like, correct credits, so now it's just creators as opposed to, like, director, cinematographer, you know, actual real information. Rebrand yourself as Sauce. I gotta be honest. That's not a terrible idea. <laughs> I mean, at least people might stop asking about Vsauce. Which I still get to this day. Vinny, did you get the name from Vsauce? So if I was just sauce, maybe the people would be like, what kind of sauce are you? I don't know. But yeah, and the quest for simplicity and like, very simple, easy to say, <clears throat> say words. Things have gotten a whole lot stupider. <clears throat> when I was growing up, Max represented Cinemax, which was like an HBO competitor that um, late night had boobies. It was like softcore porn, basically. So the nickname was Skinemax. Now, that may seem for some of us like, oh, of course, people haven't heard of Skinemax. But yeah, there's probably an entire generation of people who have never heard that before. When will you do a collab with Vsauce? Well, either Vsauce is gonna have to meet me somewhere in the middle and do gaming shit, or I'm gonna have to meet him somewhere in the middle and do, um... ...do science. But chat, it's not... I know you're joking, chat member, but I've actually... Over the years, I've had people say, Vinny, why don't you collaborate with, like... ...someone at, like, Mr. Beast's level? It's like... You- you know you- you can't- you kinda can't just do that, right? Mr. Breast? <laughs> Who's that? Which- who- which guy is that? Mr. Breast.
He was Mr. Mr. Breast was on Cinemax for 20 years. Hope you've got bombs, fucko. Oh boy. Kind of works too. Is the poll? What does the poll say, chat? What is it? Note, I have nothing to do with this poll. Will he use a cannon? Yeah, I'm sure- I'm sure that's what that says. I'm- I'm also sure that chat is going to tell me the truth about what's in that poll, right, chat? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Generous of the game to not have repeat damage, at least. says, will Vinny use the cannon in this cave? Chat, this is- this is a lot of explosions. <laughs> Vinny, will you do any more Korok and Ball torture? Okay. Well, that's a new one. So the statues are pointing the way, which I think is cool. I'm gonna try to stabilize the cannon, chat. actually fucking believe that this worked. The Legend of Zelda, I can't actually fucking believe that this thing worked.
can you stick it on a shield or even a weapon? You can. You can stick it, but then the, the shield breaks and the weapon breaks. And the weapon costs a lot more battery life. I don't know where Boobal is yet, but we're gonna find Boobal, don't you worry. Scimitar. Oh. Von Aboras Divine Helm. Okay, that was... Was that in the previous game? It was, wasn't it? No, not really. That was an amiibo drop. Speaking of amiibo drops, I probably should try to get the Majora's Mask Paraglider, because that, that shit is cool. Put it on and look at Riju. Fake Riju or Freak Riju? Which one? What the fuck? Oh, because that's the, uh... I see. It's like the ancestors thing. I, I actually kind of feel bad for this one. I kind of deserve that. All these weapons, and yet, not a single... Not a singular scimitar. The masks power up the sages? Oh, that's cool. Wrong button. Keep it up, you're winning them over. That's like a- that's my filtration system. Only the strongest of constitutions can survive my terrible bits. I assume these swords, like, point the way to the, uh, the place I was just at, right? Why, why, why would I, why would I do this?
suck shit. Kingdom for a scimitar. You, you got one, right? Yeah, there they are. That these motherfuckers got it. Maybe they don't. Damn it, Lizalfos. You blinded a chest from where you came from. I'm not even concerned about the Master Sword, Chad. I just want this one. I was hoping that would be in there, but I wasn't expecting it to be. Go back, you missed the foreskin lizard. I don't know what you're talking about. Now fuse it with a rock. Oh. Don't forget sex ed class. Yeah, I can't, because it's daytime now. We'll, we'll make it happen, chat. Basak. 
I'm always shocked when I speak with the others about you. It's a real south and a surprise how incredible you are. Sokso, for not only helping Gerudo Tem, but also for helping me. If not for you, my people may have forever lost the knowledge of how to make the arms of the Seven. Their legendary sword and shield passed down among the Gerudo, wielded by a chosen individual. <laughs> Let's do it. Four diamonds, ten flint, scimitar, shield. <laughs> Knew you could do it. This is everything I need to get to work. Ma? I poured all my heart into making these. Here, take them. They are the true symbol of gratitude of the Gerudo. You're the second person I've made those for. Lady Riju was the first. My ancestor even made them for the champion of the Gerudo some time ago. That really just goes to show how amazing they are. It'll make me happy if you take good mm -hmm. care of them. But I did make them to be used, so don't feel like you need to preserve them. Should they ever be irretrievably lost, just bring me the materials again and I'll remake them for you. Yeah, four diamonds. <laughs> you can come and see me whenever you like, even if you don't need anything. <laughs> Oh. Someone just wrote, he's in. I guess you can fuse stuff to it as well, but... Two thousand rupees for a twenty-eight strength sword is bull, honestly. Yeah, I don't like that. Hi. It's 2x fusion. It doubles fuse material value. Yeah, but then it breaks and then you're... it's done. I got it to do a 120 damage with a Lionel Horn. Well, yeah, like everything in the game. I just... this is the, the problem I have, is there are some weapons I wish didn't break. <laughs> Hang it up in a house? I prob... honestly, I probably am. You can repair weapons by throwing them in Rock Octorok's mouth. That was in Breath of the Wild, too. So, yeah. <laughs> this is where I teach the class on Vo. It's only for students who are willing to engage. If you're interested, you're welcome to join, but you'll have to participate. Oh, fuck! Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, okay, everyone, pay attention. Today we're gonna have a very special lesson. We have a Vo here with us. Just try to relax and be your regular, normal selves when you're talking to him. All right. Oh. Nolly, you know I can't do this. Mm. Teacher, I... I can't. I can't look directly at his face. Oh. It's okay, we can stop here for now. You will have to do something about that fear eventually. But I think once you muster the courage to face a vow, even just one time, your fear will wash away forever. <sighs> I'm sorry, I imagine that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? You see, she's never seen a vow in person. She's only seen them in drawings or in recreations like the vow dummies. Mm -hmm. I suspect that if you hid your face, it would be easier. It's probably just too early to make eye contact while chatting. I hope you aren't feeling discouraged, though. It would be wonderful if you visited the class again. Now what kind of work was to like put on the mask? Hi. 
Damn it. Chat, what's the... Oh. Yo, what the fuck? I got trolled by the chat. You're that Vo from before. You realize you're dressed like a member of the group that intends to harm us? You put fear into many people here if you went around dressed like that, even though we know you weren't one of them. If you want out of there, you'll need to change your clothes first. Vinny, you're dressed like a ninja satanist. Ninja satanist sounds like a good best of the worst movie. I would watch ninja satanist. Cameron Mitchell plays like the wise wizard and it's just reused footage from that one movie that he did like at the very end that was reused for another movie. He's just sitting at a desk, smoking a cigarette with an eye patch, talking about satanists. Hey, I can talk to him like this. So, um, hi, my name is Nolly. I'm an amazing wildberry. I make an amazing wildberry creep, and I uh, hope to share one I've made with a Vo someday. Oh. All right, that's enough. Ma. Vo are known to think with their stomach sometimes. Some yeah, that and some other things too. So mentioning your cooking was a good idea. They're especially susceptible to sweets. So well done with the wildberry creep. Oh. Sucks so to you as well. It was very kind of you to conceal your face for Nolly. It seems that's just the thing she needs to get past her anxiety and talk to you. <laughs> you are more than welcome to return to the class in the future. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh. Pratana, let's see what you can do. Oh, so you have to, like, kind of fulfill their, uh, it's crepe. Creep, crepe, crepe. <sighs> Um, Pratana. Can't do it. I, th I think I need that drink from the canteen to give me energy. Are you okay? All right, let's not push you too hard today, alright? Oh. Yeah, energy drink, sure. It's me, Link. Maybe you know me from my hit game Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. My name is even in the title. That's right, I listen to Delicate Steve all the time. You could just picture in your mind what kind of mouth you have to make to do that voice. Hey ladies, it's me. Delicate Link. Is this like worth doing? I know it's like all fun and games and everything, and that's that's fine, but is this is this even worth doing? There is no reward. Mm. 
Why can't I find this place? I, I can't find the fucking canteen. This is this it? No, this is like the bunks. This isn't it. Oh yeah, it is, but it's no one's here. There's a ball here. Oh, they moved upstairs, yeah. I'm gonna get lost in here constantly, aren't I? Are you hyped for Alan Wake 2? <laughs> no. Ah. Ah. I never even played Alan Wake 1. I'm sure it's great. I don't mean to make it seem like, wow, it's a shit game. How dare you insinuate I know the game. But, uh... It is an interesting phenomenon when you get a question like that. And you know you haven't played that game. And you knew that you would smoop, smoke the veed. And you knew that it would be funny. And everyone would clap. <laughs> Phenomenon. <laughs> no, but when, when uh, someone asks me... In that way about a game series I've never played before. I, I usually have to remember not everyone knows every detail of every game I've ever played. I wouldn't mind finishing this ball quest. Wait, was that a bad idea? Oh fuck, I think it was. Getting Mulduga hammers very often. They come into my store, they don't buy anything. They look around, they don't buy anything. Why don't they buy anything? I... You just throw the bomb flower? Oh, because I suffer from a problem called dumb asshole. <laughs> Did 
Yeah, what am I even doing here? Like, what, what was the point of this? Ascend? Maybe? That was my first thought, too, but... Oh. Client check. Pr products check. Hmm? A, a vote, but the door is blocked. How did you... God, never mind. It's not our... It's our rule not to pry into the business of our customers. You're welcome in our shop, no matter how you manage to make it inside. This is the Gerudo Secret Club. The only shop in town that sells clothing designed with a vote in mind. Considering vote aren't allowed in town, I'm sure you can understand why the shop is a secret. Anyway, that's how we run our business. We're not concerned with who you are. As an outcast myself, I appreciate your business. Snow boots. Snow speed up. Oh, interesting. Sand boots. Oh. Sand speed up. Desert Vo Spalder. Desert Vo Trouser. Not a secret anymore. Someone just said, Tell the IRS. All right, Narc. Oh, that's why that dude is on the roof there. Because he's, like, trying to get into the secret club. Then you gotta come to my cousin's club. Secret Vo Club. Did you see- there was one weird frame that we got of Link's face, like, really close, maybe even through his skull. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need someone to, like, extract that frame, please. Chat, this ball mission seems pretty... pretty annoying. Looks like we got an ex Crunkerton. That was very, very fast. Oh my god, chat, we found the, the, the hero brine. Herobrine. There really was a, a fucking face in that one frame. This is another one of those quests where I have to wonder if the amount of work put into it is worth the reward. And I'm not going to ask chat because that would be... Well, that would just be saving all of us time, but... Um, I think this ball is just gone. Start like breaking into people's homes looking for balls. You can recall it from the water. It also respawns, I think, 
so I could probably get that one later. I might just come back to this quest. Talk to Patricia. The Horker? some nerve just walking up to me like we're friends. I haven't forgotten the trouble you got me into before, but okay, I'll admit you really helped in the battles against the Gibdos. Besides, I guess I owe you for making me realize how much I'd enjoy actually firing this cannon. Since you've been so helpful, I'll let you fire off a one cannon salute whenever you'd like. Hundreds dead. Uh. Barda, what are you doing? It's way too dangerous to fire that thing off here. Uh. I just thought I could fire off a celebratory one cannon salute. Also, the Vo did it. Uh. I don't want to hear it, Barta. If that cannon gets fired every time there's something to celebrate, this town will be leveled before long. Unless I say otherwise, you are forbidden from even touching that thing. Mm. <sighs> what? But, but I need to fire it. Cannon's off limits. I'm being very, very patient. Just waiting for the day I'm allowed to fire the cannon again. I can almost smell the smoke now. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is Patricia, right? And I'm sorry, how do you expect me to talk to this creature? She's no ordinary sand seal. Patricia is actually something of an oracle. Please offer her some fruit. Okay. Seal crit numbers. <laughs> negative three seven eight one, negative two nine zero 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 four seven. It's the near the slot machine. There's numbers down there. Negative three seven. What was it? Three seven what? Three seven eight one. Oh, these can be out of town too.
Three, seven, eight, one. Uh, negative 2,900. I had nothing to do with that one, chat. Three, seven, eight, one, negative. Three, seven, eight, one. 2900. God damn it. <sighs> Chat, where's Tarrytown? Top right? Like... Like here? No, I have not been to Tarrytown. Not yet, at least. You should have a quest that leads there. I just want to get my house so I can start putting stuff in, a, in the house. What song is that a reference to? I've not been to Ox Oxford Town by Bowie, which was in Starship Troopers as like a cover, like a futuristic song. Which is why it's fresh in my mind, since I played that Starship Troopers game. So it's like, there. Could use some more wheels. You need more money for your house? Why are they why are they charging? Why are they charging charging Link? The fucking hero of Hyrule who saved the kingdom from Calamity Ganon. Somehow, it's 12.30. I could play for a little while longer, but I mean, it's just surprising how fast this went. It didn't feel like a very far push. Is there, like, an optimal place to stand to get, like, a good push? Hyrule is so fucking big. This is this is like uh, half a year of gameplay. Nope. 
screwed that one up. We got here. Let me guess, it's broken? Uh, we met at another Skyview Tower, didn't we? I dashed here as fast as I could. It looks like you're pretty fast, too. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? I hate to say it, but things are a bit of a mess right now. Ah, uh, the flying monster took the terminal from the tower. Good grief, that sticky clawed terror has a habit of stealing things. I'll never fix the tower at this rate. Well, that, that's easy. Rascal doesn't miss a thing. If it notices us, it'll fly away and be more on guard. If you hit it at a view, it may lower its guard and come down. It's too clever to... They should sell Yoda breadsticks. And like, Grogu baby Yoda breadstick varieties as well. Why? I think just there they would be so they would sell well because Yoda eats a dirty breadstick. It would just sell really, really well. 
I always thought that was a sausage. Yeah, sausage, breadstick. Okay, let's go to Tarrytown, finally. <laughs> the fuck is going on down here? Oh, this place has certainly grown. For those that didn't play Breath of the Wild, this was the town you helped build. Wow. Very familiar music. Look at that, said and done. So, have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon and to, uh, that, uh, the time to tap me pace and hear a break apart chap faster than you can blink if you ought to be back how it was before? Oh, hello there, you. It's an honor to see your face with my eyeballs once again on such a pretty day, no less. Ah, you met again with my younger brother, Colt, and didn't you? I can smell it. He's a bit eccentric. I know, I know, but I hope you find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, oh, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. But once I saved up a tiny little nest omelet, I gave my stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at last make, a, make real a dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems President of Hudson Construction is very busy and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside of my skull, but... A thing here in the world and say instead. Oh, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. Well, the truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? Disgusting! But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful, tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for the plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land, Hudson. Hey, oh, as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has seen before. Ah. <sighs> Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Mm. Monari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. Mm. Ah, oh, you're right, of course. It's a special journey. We should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, customer, welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? 
It's no surprise our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry, we're still not ready to open for business. Wait, it's you. Ooh. Look who it is! It's sure been a while! Oh, you know, thanks to you, Tarrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. My little Madison. Hopefully her head isn't... ...pinicular. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Together. Oh, sorry, I gotta go. We're kind of busy right now. Uh, but I'm going back to work now, Ronson. Don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Sorry, but that construction company is still using that cutout. There's a few others I was going to throw out, though. They're in the company storehouse. You could take them. However, the door seems to be stuck. Can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something's blocking it inside? Oh, thought it might be valuable when I picked up this picked it up at this weird rock is giving me the creeps. So I've got to hurry and find some sucker to... Oh, head into the construction site, eh? Uh, there's just a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. 20 rupees. No exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides. That's a bargain. How about it? Fuck this guy. Very good. You're all set. Yes, profit. Profit. The controls are simple. Just give it a whack to either start it or stop it. Well, stop that! The rock belongs to me! I'm not going to give it away for free. If you really want it, I'll consider selling it to you. Whee! Looks like your heart... Uh, huh? Who are you? This is the Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians, not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. If you're headed to Terry... Oh. Critical work. More Zonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. <laughs> See that? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone in the Zonai survey team, a site like that is a dream come true. Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. Mm. Oh yeah, this place did get kind of fucked up, huh? Are you interested in this, too? Oh. Ah, look at this. It seems like there might be things inside of it. I wonder how we can get them out. The thing fell from the sky at the time of the uh. upheaval. But what is it? Where did it fall from? Let me show you a thing. That's what those things are. Gotcha, mechanics! These are Zonite devices inside this thing? I think... Yes, I actually think this might be possibly a truly amazing discovery. Probably. Contraptions like this one have just shown up in places other than just Tarrytown. Kakariko Village in Nakluda, south of here, has one. And then there's one on the Southwest Bridge, too, at Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance to Gerudo region. Uh, uh. Terrible reward. Uh. It's 
It's rare, was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village that's to the south of here in Nakluta. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking ah. to them. Yeah, gloom resistance. It's just an easy thing to get. Chat, I'm just wondering. Hmm. Like, what is the smallest amount of stuff to make a, a car in this game? Four and a steering stick? Well, what about two and a steering stick? Hell yeah, wheelies. One and a plank of wood. How about just plank of wood? Mm, best I can do is plank of wood. So they're gonna build- they were gonna build outward. It's not as safe as Tarrytown because Tarrytown has like a- It's like on an island. God damn it. Someone made the fastest car using a wooden pallet and an apple. Maybe it's best I don't know what that even means. This is dumb. I'm gonna stop doing this now. You need to do a glitch? Oh yeah, that, that sounds about right. Well, what's this glitch where you could, like, take Pura with you like the shrimp lady? Build a box around her? Okay, well, maybe next time we'll do that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, like, do that tonight, but I would very much like to try to... ...capitalize on the... ...pura trending... ...um... ...what, what is it? Yes, yeah, stunks. Pura stunks. There you go. That's that's the best way to say it. Hey. Ernestin, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. Now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control. What kind of fools do you take us for? Aww. You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before, I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of Zonai devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you could offer some guidance. Uh, so what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars. Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Which one's Saboba? 
Hmm, you found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles. Mm -hmm. ah! I'm gonna tell you that some of these old run oh. down things are still useful. Blah 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 blah. I get it. Hey now, that vehicle's a prototype. Please don't touch. Wait, hold on. Ah. What? Incredible. Just, just look at it. It's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Oh god, it's backwards. I have no doubt that this Zonai device was made for steering. Uh, sorry for shouting. Are you new to Hudson Construction? My name is Ferneson. I'm collaborating with Hudson on Zonai Device Research Project. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ooh. Seems like it could be useful for steering ah. things. Let go of the steering device and don't go too far off course. I just can't believe Legend of Zelda became nuts and bolts. Oh shit, Chad, I only got three minutes left to do this. Or three minutes total, shit. It's nuts. It's about to go nuts. We can finally move on to the next phase. I must figure out the Zonai device's full capabilities. And uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Wow, I got paid pretty well for that. That's good. And a sleepover take. Oh shit, we get to have a sleepover with all three of them. Oh. Something tells me that would not be the best experience. Mm. Yeah. So they're gonna do a test course. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, there's gonna be a Tarrytown race. But what about the house, chat? I want I wanted to build a goddamn house or something. Oh. Do the Hudson quest. Okay, but first. Oh god damn it. Eh. I don't care about the booble guy anymore. Huh. 
It's too late to care about the booble guy, and I can't even do the voice. I could. I don't want to. Here, while this is happening, I have to get some ginger candy. Hang on. Delicious. Uh-oh. Chat, what? Front secret. living its life just for Link to smack him in the face with a sword. build a car with him <laughs> a cutout was blocking the door I'll just move these back out so I can't yeah <laughs> oh my god I bet you can use them to make a Hudson car, too. <laughs> Could you tell that I'm a big fan of this guy? President Hudson Guster. I'm looking pretty okay. Hello? Hello, do you support President Hudson? Hello, do you do you support President Hudson? Hello, do you do you support President Hudson? Hello? Hello? Do you support President Hudson? Do you support President Hudson? Vote for Hudson. Vote President Hudson. They're gone. You were kind enough to visit our shop, and yet I haven't been able to show you much hospitality. Sorry about that. Here at Hudson Construction, we like to say it's son and done. Here I am, president of the company, supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. I mentioned her earlier, we have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, 
I was going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Hey. Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start becoming more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. Mm. Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. <sighs> Sorry you have to listen to me go on like that. I really should get back to the job site mm. soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full, too, but with preparing Madison for the move, she's so busy, she can't even take work requests. I mostly just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before the big move. She's studying in her room. <laughs> Once she's off on her journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. <laughs> hey, it's me, your new friend! Oh, hey, uh, it's me, your father. You wanna spend some time with your father? Oh god, you got his hair. Oh, hey, it's me, it's your father. Do you wanna hang out? Hey, hey, I'm- I'm here to hang out with you. Oh, you wanna see my real face? How's this, cool? Yeah, I look cool. Hey, it's me, your father, Hudson. Do you vote for your Hudson father? <laughs> anyway, gotta go. <laughs> I think the mission was a great success. Actually, hey, can you just give me a minute of your time? I I, I didn't quite finish uh, talking uh, about this topic. We have to... Good morning is Savok. Good day is Savok. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Uh -huh. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it, too, so I've made it my mission to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words, too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to give a lesson to Granny Minari. You should come, too. After some instruct sons... Oh, God, Hudson? She says everything with Hudson? Ugh. You'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. It's me, your father. You really should stop saying that. Not everything needs to be emphasized with the word son. Hi. Granny Minari, Savot. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? <laughs> of course, it's a special occasion, too, because a new student is joining the class. Okay, now, pay attent, son. Granny Minari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Aww. Granny and Gerudo is, uh, what was it? Vada? <laughs> nope, too bad. Granny Minari's out of time, too. You two want to give it another try? Mm. Vaba. That's right. Ah, Vaba was on the tip of my tongue. There's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know? Well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown, so... If every son can talk like that there, well, then Mama will... Wow, the fucking ego on Hudson to, to like, teach her English like this. Sorry, Hyrulean. Then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Aww. 
I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm, I've got it. Papa's always so busy, so I'll just make my it my mission to help him with his work. Aww. At her age, she should be clinging to her Mama and Papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, he's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Dear asshole, it is me, the president, President Hudson. I'm gonna need you to stop charging for the fucking rail car. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site. But I forgot the guy won't give me permission unless I pay him. Aww. I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard with the rail car without him noticing. How am I gonna do that all by myself? Maybe what I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Hey now, what do you think you're doing? Uh, you know I can see, right? Bringing that over here like that, you're interfering with my business. Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Same haircut. Sergeant Pepper era. Go. Go now. The real car isn't where it should be. God damn it. Imagine charging for this garbage. And like, even the rail is inefficient and stupid. Oh my god, chat, what is happening? Who started this? It was retro, wasn't it? AM chat is happening? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Go now.
I did it. My miss son was a success. Goddamn Hudson. Oh yeah, he could totally see her. Oh, he's just cowering. Menson, you were coming here too, mister. It's strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Ooh. Oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. Ooh. Well, I came up with this idea. Ruto Town is pretty far from here. There are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. Mm. Just send her off alone. Across all of Hyrule on a balloon. But I want to make it really special. Something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. Sun. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen some sundelions around here. You could use them to make a dye. I need ten of them. Huh? Sundelions are rare. Don't worry, I've seen a Sunderline before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. Sky, huh? Here you go. That's awesome, you did it. You really, truly collected ten of them. What's this, you found them all for us? Well, I just kind of had them. Looks like I'll have no problem dying the balloon the color of the sun. Oh, I wasn't any help at all. I failed my Miss Sun. That's not true. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? <laughs> I'll rule, papa! I I'll help you make the sun. Good job. At last it's done and morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Oh. Hudson. Mm? Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? Oh no, don't tell me. <sighs> Our escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see, alright. Oh. Well, let's all go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You don't want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. The sun is waking up. Oh. It's a blessing. To the, the, it's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Tarrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the same, the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. He should have said, "We'll be touching down, sun." Papa, your present made me very happy. Ah, oh. oh, Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any... Yep. Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your Papa and Mama. Don't worry, you can go. Oh. Oh. Go become... 
a wonderful vi and come back with lots of stories to tell can't wait to hear about your adventures I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime, and when I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. Oh. Going to become a great Vi like Mama, and I'll meet wonderful Vo like Papa. Hi. Savork, every son. Ronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? <sighs> yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now this is the start of a new life for us too. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. <sighs> yes, you're right, of course. <clears throat> okay, I am ready. Oh. Sorry about that. You, you know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunderlines were pretty valuable, weren't they? That was a way of saying thank you. Please take this. Oh. And this is from me. Ooh. You've already helped me so much, but if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? <laughs> well, that was a nice quest. Even if Link is currently dressed like a freak with a bunch of Hudson cutouts on his weapons. Welcome to Hudson Construction with Madison off on our own little adventure. It looks like I can resume working on Dream Homes. It's supporting, uh, built around supporting our customers as they assemble their Dream Homes. Maybe thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or fully furnished room or something more, we're here for you. Maybe you want a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what all of our customers truly enjoy, which yeah. is the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You can pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. It's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting the, down the path to a dream home. Our whole family is in debt for your help with Madison. If you're interested, I'll set you up with a discount. <laughs> There's a vacant plot in prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinarily, the land, or ordinarily, the land alone would cost you 3,000 3, rupees. But as a special just for you, I can offer a, uh, a land rooms combination deal for only 1500 mm. Well, by now I've amassed enough crap to sell. heard we started carrying monster extract the only merchant who sells monster extract mm. oh. um i don't know what would be good to sell some amber i've got 134 of them chat Keep Amber. Anything with over a hundred quantity. So we'll sell some Amber. Uh. Am um, opals are just made for selling. Oh well, no, actually no, there's probably not. We'll just sell a couple of them though. Mm. I mean, we already have enough. Opal upgrade Zora armor. Well, well, we'll keep a good chunk of it then. Um, 
I just had a ton of amber to sell, which is good. Uh. I don't want to do any duplication glitches, no. Be warned that you need much more than 1500, you'll need a lot more money. And so I shall get it in time. Prime plot of land with an excellent view. There's a shrine over in that direction. Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill left of the shrine. Speak with him there for more details. <laughs> Hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home. Home on a range? That's cute. So what happens if you do this quest before you save Gerudo Town? You're basically having Madison go over there and fucking, like, have to deal with trauma and, like, gibdos and sandstorms. She doesn't arrive until you fix Gerudo Town. Oh, that makes sense. I just don't want to look at his face anymore. God damn it. Wait, is this like... The Ocarina of Time house theme? Kind of. Oh. Hey, hello, you must be Link. I'm Granitson of Hudson Construction. They're all sons. Ronson told me about you. I'm here to answer all your home building questions. Let's see. Looks like your contract includes two rooms. Yeah, you have to buy the fucking rooms, you do. These are the rooms? The one on the left is a foyer, and the one on the right is a bedroom. They're covered with nets to protect the interiors. Don't worry, we'll remove them once the construction is complete. Place them on the ground and arrange them so they fit nicely. You can only place rooms in roped-off area. Please remove any other items before inspection. I would just love a picture of President Hudson on, on the house. Well, chat, this is kind of cool. I guess you can rearrange the house at any time. You can also flip it upside down.
I didn't find any problems during the inspection, he says. This is only the first step. The real building process begins now. I don't want this! Mm. Cool and legal home. That I can't even get inside. New rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview your options so you make the choice that's right for you. I figure that'll be the shrine, so I may as well have the entrance be, like, facing the shrine. That makes sense, because I'll be just teleporting there a lot. I need more rooms. I'll buy or preview a room. A weapon stand room, that, that's the one I need right there. There's three of them in stock. Bow stand, shield stand. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna get really expensive. Garden, pond, outdoor stairs. Holy shit, this is so much more than I expected from this game mechanic. Ah. Oh. Ah. You can get portraits and hang up pictures, too. <laughs> Is this guy just gonna be, like, there at all times, staring at my home chat? Nice fucking life. I can't wait for Mr. Link to leave his house. Just gonna stand here and stare in case he needs me. No windows? Right now, this is way worse than the house that you get in Breath of the Wild. Alright chat, this will be the end of the stream, but before I go, I have one more thing I need to do.
It's a little bit better. Yeah, no, that's great. What does Link do if he has to go to the bathroom in here, though? Fuse it with your sword. Someone should do an animation of that. Of, uh, like, Link fusing his entire Tarrytown home to his weapon. He shits behind the Hudson sign. Man, I need more of them Hudson signs up here so I can make a porta potty. Someone's already done that with the Earth. Yeah, that was uh, Liam Triforce's brother that made that animation. <laughs> Believe it or not. Small world, huh? All right, chat. Thanks for the show. Cheers, everyone. As a chat member just said, I'll just repeat that. Really just still loving this game so much. Tomorrow I'll open up some Grotto Beasts and I'll have some other variety for you as well, chat members. So tomorrow won't be Zelda, but it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And uh I might do some pre-recordeds until I'm ready to do a dungeon again, chat. But we'll get there when we get there. So for now, just happy to have you here. And uh at some point I'll do that glitch as well, because it sounds fun. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night, everyone, and enjoy your own Zelding if you are playing it. And finally, I appreciate the continued support and uh, everything you do for me. And uh, thanks for being here and watching. I'll see you next time. And thank you, mods, also. Okay, thank you. Good night. Bye. When do I retire this bit?